Hi, this is Teal from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I'm outdoors to review this product called the Walk Stool Comfort. This is actually a portable stool with three legs. I have used this for one year or one and a half years. So this is a bit worn out. These are the three telescopic legs and it's really very easy to deploy. Um, when the legs are inside like this, you can just pull it out and there is this latch that will lock the legs in place. And after that, you just remove the Velcro that keeps the seat mesh together and just put it onto the ground, just like that. It's really very easy and fast to deploy. Now, this particular model that I have is 45 cm high. 45 cm high is the height of normal kitchen chairs or the toilet seat. So I am 1.8 meters tall. This 45 cm high chair uh, is good enough for me. So if you're taller, you might want to consider getting um, other heights. The company that makes walk stool makes two types of walk stool. One is the walk stool comfort and one is the walk stool basic. The one that I have here is the walk stool comfort. There are two main differences between the basic and the comfort. So the comfort has a larger sitting area. This is much larger for the walk stool comfort. And the other difference is the walk stool comfort has rubber feet, big rubber feet. So let's take a closer look. These are the three feet of the stool. One of the rubber feet on mine has uh, fallen off because it has cracked. Today I want to show you the cracks because uh, this is caused by the humid weather here in Singapore. Um, if you are in other countries uh, with drier climate, uh, this is probably not going to be a problem. Anyway, this is quite worn out because I have used this for more than one year. You can see here uh, the rubber is starting to wear off and I stopped using it for a few months and it's, the rubber started to crack. This happens to a lot of rubber products here in Singapore. Anyway, I'm going to replace the rubber feet today to show you the replacement feet. So uh, it's very easy to replace, you can just pull it off like this. This is the bag of replacement feet that I bought. There are three rubber feet inside. So there's one, two and three and there are also three uh, plastic stoppers. Let me take them out to show it to you. So I think this would be to replace uh, this section here anyway. Uh, this doesn't need to be replaced because we have the rubber feet protecting those. Uh, to put them on, you just basically just slot it back in. There is a shape that you have to uh, follow. So this part here is flat. So we have to put the flat against the flat and just push it in. Oops. This is the second one and this is the third one. You do have to push it in very tightly to make sure that it's secure and doesn't fall out. But after it's in, it's uh, quite secure and tight. This is how they look like when they are fixed on properly. They are quite big actually, compared to the Walk Stool Basic, which just features the small uh, plastic feet. This has a much larger surface area. So if you put, put it on grass or maybe on sand, it doesn't sink in that easily. And to keep the legs back in, you just press this uh, red uh, button here. Just press it down, hold it, and push the leg back in. I think there shouldn't be any um, metal showing because I need to push in the rubber feet a bit more. But anyway, that is how you keep uh, this too. So it's very easy to deploy and very easy to keep. This is the Velcro strap that goes all around. Let me show you the mesh, the seat mesh. So there are actually holes for ventilation so it doesn't uh, get hot that easily. There is some wear and tear after I have used this for more than a year, but uh, the quality is very good. This is really very durable. Even after a year of usage, I only have this uh, small tear here for each uh, site it doesn't affect performance in any way. One of the main selling points of this walk stool is this is really very durable compared to all other three-legged stools that are out there in the market. On the website, it says that it can handle up to 100 kg, 
and that is for this specific model that is 45 cm in height so if you are getting a larger walk stool uh, you can actually support up to 150 kg for me the height for this uh, is just right um, although sometimes I do prefer to have a, a shorter stool and you can actually uh, turn this into a shorter stool just by retracting the legs let's we just press the button to make it shorter and again deploy it like this so you can actually sit like this but in this case it's a bit tricky because you have to actually uh, balance yourself with your legs but the good thing about this height is um, sometimes when I'm sketching like this I like to put my watercolor palette on the ground I can reach my watercolor palette and also my bottle for washing my brushes however if I were to extend the legs um, it's actually very important to make sure that the legs are, they are locked properly before you sit down if not um, you might collapse so at this particular height if I put my watercolor palette or bottle on the ground I won't be able to reach it um, it's going to be a bit difficult to reach them so but this height I think for some of you uh, you might find it to be more comfortable than sitting at a much lower height so there are two configurations at which you can use this walk stool comfort I cannot remember how much I paid for this but this is a bit more expensive compared to other portable stools in the market even though it's a bit more expensive I still think it's worth the money because this is very durable I have used this for one year and um, the only thing that I did not like is the rubber feet disintegrating in the humid weather but they are relatively inexpensive to replace um, the, the seat is really large and comfortable and there are holes so it's, it doesn't get warm and they don't wear out that fast so overall it's really very durable I think it's worth the money one last thing to mention is it actually comes with a carrying bag which I did not bring today but usually when I bring this uh, stool outdoors I will actually just uh, carry it by hand like this it's not that lightweight but it's uh, still considered light but not that lightweight so usually I carry it like this or I put it inside uh, another carrying bag that's all for today's review if you have any questions do feel free to post them in the comment section below and check out my other product reviews also if you haven't done so see you in the next video thanks for watching bye